Yeah, I'm so excited about all these things I got. I got this brush, I got this glue, I got this glitter. Chicka, 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 chicka. Oh, my days. I got this, more glitter. I got this stick to, to um, make whatever I want to make. I got glitter and the magic mud fudge. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but this is what I want to use for. <laughs> the more glitters, more glitters, a cutter. Hey people, welcome to my channel. This video is going to excite you. I had so much fun documenting this one okay so today this magic is going to surprise you this mod podge actually is a very very um great thing for crafts and um, i found it on youtube too and so i decided to try it out for the first time so this shoe of mine is actually damaged kind of it's um a nice it's a very comfortable shoe and so i do not want to give it out I, I i really didn't have plans to give it out so i thought of a way to you know cover the damage up and still put it in use so first things first you want to you know just coat the shoe with the mud podge with a nice brush Put it properly and then just pour the glitters that's all <laughs> yeah. that's all you and this thing will give you like the rich anti vibe kind of shoe ah not the smart thing this glitter thing eh? it will be lower me i will use it for virtually everything that i have <laughs> just just look at this easy easy to cover any flaw on your shoe any damage on your shoe look at this this makes so much sense right yes it does and you can also change the color of your shoe i used green because i wanted green color you can actually change any color of shoe to any color you want and out of excitement, this wasn't part of the plan. I took my shekere <laughs> to match it up with my shoe, baby. Come on, pour it, pour the glitter. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, the important thing here is that you should allow this thing dry. If it doesn't dry it will be so messed up and you will like the way it will come out so let it dry completely it was quite late so i just put on the fan for this one to dry i couldn't sun dry and yeah my shakere <laughs> my instrument of praise is actually coated to so I'm going to show you what it looks like if the mud porch doesn't dry. Yeah, I want to ensure that you shake everything everything off. So in the videos I watched, um, you're supposed to after pour the glitter, you're supposed to coat it again with the mud porch. But I did not do that. I did not do that because I didn't want to take a risk on this particular shoe. Can you see? What happened there? I touched it and then it, it came off on my palm. So that happened because I didn't let it dry before, you know, touching and all of that. Yeah, so after the whole process, you want to use like a brush to dust the glitter. I didn't have any extra big brush, so I used this my makeup brush and obviously it will permanently be for my crafts 
so you want to dust 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 the excess glitter on it can you see that the glitters actually stayed because of that mud porch that thing is magic and yes you don't need to throw away this one there's a way you can put it back as simple as what you can see just uh, yeah and that's why you should do it on the paper you should do it on something you can you know gather the glitters and then pour it back into the bottle yeah yeah that's all just pour it back and you use it again for whatever you have <sighs> wow glitters <laughs> And here it is, the beauty, the speck, the shoe dripping glory. Come on now, just look at this. The whole process didn't take me 10 minutes. Can you see, you, you see the excess there? So just brush it, brush everything off. Once the first layer of your mud pot is well coated, you will, have, you will not have problems with um falling glitters so there won't be glitters everywhere once the first stage is well done the glitters just you know stick on the mud podge and that's all so yeah so that is um that glue is actually to fix the what they call this now i don't know but that's shiny thing back the shoe thing back the glue is effective very effective for me and so i use it for a lot of things and then voila your shoe is ready it is ready let me just try out some different styles different styles you can put anything on top anything at all anything you want on it but this is working with the shoe so i'm just going to fix it back yeah with the glue and yes and that's part of the shoe you just want to glue it down back yay my shoe is ready my shoe is ready 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 look at that part you see that part that doesn't have glitter that's because the mud podge didn't go on there yeah so i'm just going to use a sponge to clean the inside properly you know just clean it properly so she's all neat and then um, out of curiosity you know i wanted to know if that thing will come off so i just used the sponge on the body of the shoe and well nothing nothing came up yeah look at this no 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 look at this ah, ah. hey that was, see I, i'm doing business now if you want to you know cover up anything on your shoe your bag whatever you want whatever you want to cover just call me the price is chickly money. Call me. I will cover it up for you. <laughs> and yes, I rocked my shoes. Watch out for many, many more of these things. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share. I would also love to see what you made out of your own mud podge and glitter. Send me pictures. <laughs> and comments in the section below. Cheers.